Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I do have the Z, so I'll be looking to get um, some value off that tile. Either I'm looking if I have a five letter play, either beginning with the Z or ending with the Z. Or even a six six letter. I don't think there's a seven. Um, but just looking diazo azido um, don't quite have zante. I would need an E for that. seem to, oh, why is my keyboard not responding, there we go, diazo for 34, okay, um, this looks alright, Thailand through an A. <laughs> no, nah, that's not a word. I just, it just sprung to mind. Um, gliding. Okay, opponent. I thought that was a bingo at one point. Um, I have the land component. Um, hit land, no good. Um, looking if that O assists the rack at all. Um, I have the oid suffix, than, thanloid, lanthoid, no, nothing coming to mind there. Um, maybe just, I need to, I want to get rid of a H and a L maybe light 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 that's not a bad rack leave um, not a great score but what other options are there uh, yeah. A hen, a hind, maybe, 28, yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, what have we got? Um, almost Tylosin, but not quite. Tylosin. Um, okay, opponent. Struggling with vowels a bit there, it seems. Um, looking at ways I can get value of the Y. I've got only there. Um, 35, not a great rack leave, but there are some floaters to assist this um, rack. I'll go with this. Just looking if if I could somehow put my S there, coming through the I, but it doesn't look likely. Right, I pay the price for leaving a consonant heavy rack, and I have no one to blame but myself. Um, it does sometimes happen, but I can play mit through here lighter onto an a l y t t a it's one way to resolve the rack 
but no A available. Um, light is good, L-Y-T-E. Does it take... Oh, I've put it in the wrong spot. Does it take a... Actually, I have Sly. I wonder... Sly there for 19. Terrible rack leave. Um, I do have Met there. Met for eight. That's shocking as far as scores go. Um, what was I thinking? Lighted. Lighted for eighteen. Yeah. I do have a vowel now to work with, so almost misters, but the double T. Mistress, uh, not quite. Uh, ST looks like the way to start. Um, I have the ism suffix. I have the m miss prefix mistreats through an EA combo just looking at the I and the E that's red the E more than the I but um, just looking at eights that could be formed using that E. Uh, can't see it. So how to resolve the rack? Um, is glidings good? Rims, keep the T back. I don't mind a double T actually. 29. Yeah, it is good. Right, rottens. Will this lane remain available? That's the question. Rottens and snotter. Anything from the E? Try tones through the I. Okay. Opponent does take that spot. Um, Try tones doesn't get stentor. Is stentor good? Stentors. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Z is gone, so that spot not quite as bad. I suppose the J is still available, so I could get uh, thumped there. Um, I could do there for 29. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, I'm just playing a bit quicker there because I need to watch my time. Still uh, 29 tiles. I have uh, a void. I have nay void from an N. Not for a bingo, just for a, a way to get some tile turnover going. Um, nothing down here really. Tid with... D E no. Uh, do I 
do something about this rack. What are the scores? I've got a bit of a lead to protect, so maybe taking out these lanes here if possible, or frustrating them at least. Uh, okay, opponent looks like he's balancing. Uh, I've got an E for going under nigh, but nothing decent there. So just looking at the R for play down, that that would kind of close this quad quadrant down a little bit because there are some bingo lanes. Uh, could play through the I, but the R looks most likely. Uh, Um, can't see a way of getting down to the double. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is a bit tricky. Um... Maybe I'll just go for for a score, but even that's proving to be a challenge. Um, perhaps I just play void, avoid maybe. Avoid does open up this, but it closes the bingo lane down. I'll go with avoid. Feels weak though. Um, I have Agile, Agila, keep my E. If opponent doesn't take that spot, it is a attempting. Yeah, I thought he might score well there. Didn't think he'd get 50 points though, but anyway, that uh, happened. Railage. Tile turnover. I draw the queue. Uh, that is a, a bingo lane, I guess. The A, so I'm still a bingo ahead. I'll be looking to perhaps. Oh, it's not, not that dangerous actually, but the queue is something I want to get rid of. I have QI here. Uh, where else do I have it? Wacf onto an F. Not quite enough space there. W. Any hot spots for the W? Not that I can see. Uh, caddy onto a D. No D's currently. Kyed doesn't quite work because I L. So, just looking to somehow get rid of the Q. I suppose this does frustrate the R as well, so I probably will go with this QI unless I spot something better. But the Q definitely needs to go. If that spot is blocked, um, perhaps woe down there. I'll go with chief. All right, now I do have some scoring potential in the K, so OK there would score nicely for 29. Um, I've got the CK ending, so... Um, I guess I have cock there, or cack might be good as well. Um, where else? 
else does the K score well? I mean, our core here, obviously, that's going to be best. Uh, terrible rack leave, but 40 points. I'm not going to forego that just because of a bad rack leave. And it does take out a useful bingo. There's a lot of A-T-E ending words and so forth. So, core. Cool. Just wondering if I can get rid of an extra vowel. No, can't see it. Core cool for 40. All right. Um, I do have some scoring tiles, which is um, a relief. I thought I might be swamped with seven vowels there and no scoring options, but this has worked out okay. Um, WAP, uh, not WAP, POW and WAG would be an option. Just terrible rack leaves, but can't turn the points down, especially at this stage of the game. And there's two blanks, so um, bingo's ending in IC could be a potential. Uh, not enough spaces there, so that's not a bingo lane in column G. Nothing goes on the left of GI or next to V, so this quadrant is dead apart from a bingo ending in IC. So, I guess a play of pi would... I don't think pi takes an S, or, or maybe it does. I'm, I'm just not sure on that one. Um, pi, do I play pi for 20 and to frustrate the line? How many left? Two tiles in the bag. Um... Well, if I played pi, just pi, um, that doesn't take anything in front. So that would really kill that bingo lane. Is scrab good, though? That's the other question. Scrab. Um, how else to, to take it out? I mean... I can't play coca or size. Size is no good. Um, I really do need to address this. I mean, I think just PI, yeah. PI for 15. What have I done? P.I. Okay, is Scrab good? If it is... Oh, okay, opponent um, didn't... He obviously knew it not to be good. I've got a minute 30, and I will be looking to um, play down here. I think it looks like my opponent has left the room. Um, wag and woo for 19, I guess. Oh, I could have played O-W-E there. I didn't need to rush that, I guess. All right, so, um... I'll just thank my opponent. Uh, let's have a quick look at what was missed in that one. I'll go back to the beginning of the game. So 381 to me, 291 to my opponent. And um, oh, Zonda, of course. I've played that word uh, many a time, so definitely missed that one. 
and Dyer's are a fair bit short of the mark and a much better rack leave after Zonda, so that was a um, suboptimal play. Uh, opponent struggling with a vowel shortage, gliding was what he did go with. Um, so, although it was suggested at e4, uh, more or less the same anyway. My rack was, I went with a hind, one point short of the mark, high ant down here. I did act, it crossed my mind, but I thought um, I wanted to get rid of the D as well. The LT kind of felt better than LD. Anyway, close there again. Eerie was all right, and airy, so opponent getting rid of his vowels quite effectively there, scoring at the same time. Snottily, oh, snottily through the eye. I didn't really consider bingos when I saw the rack. I just thought, oh, one vowel, duplicates, but... Snottily, definitely a word I would have known if I had uh, spent some time and spotted it. So that was a miss. I went with Oni. And then T-Carts. My opponent had a bingo there. Tricky one to see those um, compound words uh, through the floating R. So he went with um, T there. Sorting his rack out. Lighted for 18. Limbs for 35 at 13B. Okay, I thought there might be a three-consonant play. Um, but limbs is not one you see very often played on a board. Or even in a list of words. But look at that triple T um, rack leave. Certainly still worth doing for 35 points, but um, yeah, the equity was actually not that big a difference, only 1.4 equity points difference, so not too bad, my play. And then opponent still struggling with vowels, he went with crab for 29, uh, vatic. For 24 with a slightly better rack leave. Got rid of the V, but still very close. And this was... Ah, Metrists. Wow. Okay, well done if you spotted that. I uh, thought there might well be a bingo with the ST combos. Um, metrists. Not a word I would have um, spotted not one I'm familiar with. So that was a miss, and I went with way down the bottom rims for 29, 32.8 equity, but big difference. Metrists, okay. So votes was my opponent's play, 34, a slightly better rack leave after playing jive, but he hung on to the HJ. Um, but scored more, so not much in that. And then Stentors was my play. And then opponent had Kerfs for uh, 39 points at 4H. 4H, ah, making flighted. Kerfs flighted. 39 points, well that's two-thirds of a bingo. And it would have sorted the rack out to an extent as well, getting rid of three consonants. He went with cub and then poof for 29. I did consider playing the ED, but I um, I just, uh, I didn't, I thought I'd hang on to it because it was a, the EDs, it was quite a nice um, two-letter set. It had the A as well, but... Yeah, I, I just didn't uh, want to go too far across either, exposing the trip. So um, that was all right. And then opponent had Neff for 35 at J12. Oh, because Poof takes an extra F. That, uh, that would have been nice. J12, yeah. 
so instead he went with a fire through ah oh, just to rack balance yeah get rid of the consonants and uh, then I had this rack which I struggled with a little bit void for thirty two at thirteen g that's down here oh very nice very nice I I played void there but I was so concerned at the prospect of blocking bingo lanes that I I didn't actually look at other scoring options and that would have also taken out that lane which arguably well I don't know I, I think frustrating the IE had more value than frustrating that lane and with two blanks unseen well I'm really looking to to make it hard for my opponent to bingo when he's because the moment he bingos he's only a tempo behind 30 points 25 or so so um, anyway that was my thinking with avoid and Hudges was my opponent's play very nice score 50 points and then Rayledge for 22 was my play Regalia same deal um, that really did go for tile turnover um, and I thought I might pick up a blank that was my reasoning behind the tile turnover external through the A wow tricky to spot when you got two blanks to um, visualize in your head um, but 92 wow that would have put my opponent just slightly ahead um, and that would have made for a very interesting end game. Instead, he went with ticks and a very strong rack leave and would have almost certainly bingoed onto the R or C um, or through the A. So I thought, well, take out the, uh, the R. That was the most useful floater. So I went with... Uh, QI, but are we at N11 down here? Oh, okay, are we scored well? Um, but this R to me was the real danger. A lot of eights end in uh, R, a lot of bingos. So that was my thinking to play QI and. Um, yeah, I wonder if he would have had something with this rack and the R. Um, interner, interner, no, in, interner. Anyway, can't think of all the the variations, but I'll have a look later. Entrench was playable though onto the H in the top right. Very tricky with the two blanks to spot that entrench yeah not not exactly an everyday word either so well done if you spotted that one and he went with n just to undouble the ends and e's and then i had some uh, scoring tiles again there so i went with call for 40 but analyzer is suggesting Owie for 12 points less at that same spot, N11. Um, yeah, but look at the... Yeah, the equity is almost identical um, because the rack leave is so poor after core. But I thought, um, yeah, just keep pounding with, with big heavy scores and you'll outrun your opponent even if he does bingo. That was my thinking. Um, Ment was the best on offer here with this rack. Surprising that there was nothing on to the C. Uh, I C ending word. But I guess the M made it less flexible than it could have been. Um, opponent really did need to bingo at this stage. So I don't know if Ment would have really helped him. 
Although it would have because he would have picked up the last four and uh, potentially bingoed onto the C. So 37 plus another 70 uh, possibly could have given him the 100 points he needed. But luckily I still had scoring potential here. And um, uh, owie, uh, G3, and I, I just went with... P oh, mine was a blocking play. That's right. I didn't want to leave any floaters whatsoever. So I'm still happy with the play. And then Lumpens and Lumines. Numbles. Quite a few. Um, so Scrab obviously is good. I thought it might be. But at that stage, yeah, 110 ahead. Face value, bingo. No doubling would have meant that uh, a bingo wouldn't wouldn't have been enough. So lumpens, lumines, numbles, plenums, uh, quite a few there. Um, but yeah, opponent didn't spot those. So tricky again though with the two blanks. So I, um, it's it's not easy. And then horror show. To, of Iraq to deal with, but I wasn't worried at this stage because of such a, a lead that I managed to um, accomplish. And then I just went with Woo, but OWE there is what I did spot. Um, I just want to see Owie. Oh, Owie there, and O is what I actually spotted after I had played, so that would have been much better. And then opponent went out with Toon. So that was the end of the game. Um, yeah, pretty enjoyable game. I think we both... I might have had a slightly easier run of things with with the um, the tiles and the, and the balancing of the racks. Um, although I did have some Val-heavy racks towards the end, partly my own making. Um, so... But happy to have spotted some of the, the bingos and uh, enjoyed the game. So I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.